following him inside. Yep, see, he's still here. What is this room? This is the room Master Belduke kindly provided as my accommodation. You have your own green screen and everything. <laughs> <laughs> my bad is the ceiling. <laughs> so, uh, is this the room where the incident took place? That would be the master's study. This is the room right next door. How I totally you? didn't do it. But, however. <laughs> We're already getting there, are we? <laughs> he was the only person who lived with him, wasn't he? The stay of the room has been uh, carefully preserved since the incident three months ago. As such, entry into the room is not currently permitted. Smug smile. It turns out that there's a peephole right from here to the next room where I shot him. <laughs> what? <laughs> really? Bummer! Is that by order of the Knights of the Inquisition? Because we totally don't care. By any chance? Yes. And as I have lived with Master since an early age. They also decided it would be only fitting for me to stay on and keep the place in order. So you've been looking after the place ever since Sir Belduke passed away? Have you not? Have you not been listening? Human <laughs> life forms. I have just said this. Beep, boop, beep. Yes, that's correct. If it was a voice for me to do, it would have been this one. <laughs> not whatever his name was. Now then, is there anything further you wish to discuss? Hit coins. Nope, none here. Really? There are some. Yeah. No, uh, if you... There's one there. There's one on the giant thing on the table? I don't know what it is. Oh, sorry, not that table. The middle table. Yeah, that. Oh, this thingy. What is that? Yeah. Scales, maybe? Is that a place where you hold cups? Yeah, it's a cup thing. There's also some of the flowers. You were right there. Let's jump out the window. Uh, yay! The town's still there. <laughs> Good. We're not in some space wanna... ship. Alrighty. As I mentioned a moment ago, I know very little about this matter. It's not like it didn't happen right next to me, but... Or that I did it. As a matter of fact, it might be better to ask the Inquisitors. I can tell you about... One thing, though, my favorite color, it is seven. Namely, what occurred before the incident. Did you bring him his what dinner or hints? something? What was that? I was just like, maybe he brought him his dinner or something. Uh, maybe he killed him. Yes, it was three months ago, around the time that Master Belduke was murdered. Beep, boop, beep. <laughs> it's more fun than Let me take you back. We were way back from collecting specimens for research. And it was already into the small hours of the morning. That was a woman. Oh. It was. There was <coughs> a thunderstorm on the way. And as the storm drew nearer, we quickly made our way home. Look like they had a Luke Layton relationship there. I smell bull crap. Anyone would have been surprised <laughs> at what we saw. But Master Belduke, well, how can I put this? Beep boop beep. He reacted <laughs> in a most peculiar way. Unlike others who saw it, he seemed unsettled, as if he was truly afraid of something. He set the bell tower back on fire. After that bell tower appeared, he changed completely. Master Belduke became a different man. Beep, boop, beep. He decided to look for the Nazi forums online. <laughs> Wait a second, do you just say a bell tower appeared? You didn't actually say it out loud, but I saw the pictures. <laughs> hey, that explains it, that must be... Witches! No. 
what High Inquisitor Darklaw meant when she mentioned an incident involving the Bell Tower. To this day, I do not know what the Master was so afraid of. It was just a Bell Tower that appeared out of thin air. Do you think it was connected in some way to his death? I think it must have been magic! I mean, for a bell tower to just appear like that. Inconceivable! No. Wait a freaking second! Is it a guy or a girl? Guess you want me to tell you the right answer? What do you mean? It says Mr. Grey Earl. Yeah. But. Ugh. Is Luke also now a girl? Because he's voiced by a woman, and but everyone calls him a guy. I don't know. I don't know. This Lan is a Lana Manella voices them, or whatever. Do you mind if we have a look around as we contemplate your gender? <laughs> we actually should. I'll be honest. I know that the Inquisitors have already carried out a full investigation, but there just might be a clue or two with some kind of connection to the Great Witch. How old is this guy, by the way? Which one? Gray Arrow. The butler. Anywhere from 4 to 40. Okay. That's well, I suppose. <laughs> beep, boop, beep. Providing I am allowed to accompany you. Of course. There is sensitive equipment everywhere. And it is my responsibility to take care of it. If you touch it, you'll die. Okay, cool. Understand. We'll be careful. What's this thing do? Boom! <laughs> oh, he's gone. I wonder how the professor and Luke are doing oh, with their visit to, to the storyteller. Are we gonna swap over to their point of view or something? Yeah, I've been wondering about that too. A chance to meet Labyrinthia's creator. It's like getting a meeting with the mayor, except kind of not boring. Yeah. Let's just hope they don't upset the guy and have some terrible plot twist written about them. <laughs> <laughs> we, we turn back to Luke slapping the storyteller in the knees with lead pipe. <laughs> <laughs> this is for the murder! <laughs> that only happen if it was you that visited the storyteller, Nick. The professor would never let anything like that happen. <laughs> I got a feeling they'll come back with some pretty useful leads. Or in body bags, but we'll see. We have to do our best too, Nick. Let's keep up our side of this investigation. You got it, Maya. We're all in this together. Come on, let's see what we can find. That's the spirit! Just like the end of a Barney episode. <sighs> oh, mystery time! Yeah, the bell tower that just kind of burned alive. And Leighton's here, saying the bell tower <laughs> in town is under continuous guard. I can tell because I am your lord. I am now early. going to fly back to where I belong. Okay, here's Phoenix. <laughs> Unless. Nope, never mind. Layton's here because we changed to him. The great witch Pazella will be tried in the court? It's been like 10 hours, dude. Can you retell the whole story? <laughs> oh my gosh, I need a voice for the storyteller now because he's going to do it himself. Yeah, all right, because he, he did all the talking last time. He did, and I was like, oh, cool. I don't have to worry about it. Nope, he's yeah. silent now. What the hell, dude? <laughs> I, I'm the storyteller. I can decide when I do my voice and when I don't. Rubble, rubble. Actually, I really like that idea. Rubble, we elaborate that's far out chapter. My fight again for a trial. Robot, watch out. I'm magic. Rubble, rubble. <coughs> Am I to believe that this final chapter has already begun? That is correct. And there is no way you can possibly change it. It's final outcome. <laughs> I, I am actually Richard Nixon. Although you can't tell because my voice acting is not good enough to actually match any human being. Is, is his hair close though? Not really. <laughs> I'm just going with it. Hmm, I wonder about that. I'm yeah. questioning your judgment, sir. I'm also, you see, I gave... Yeah, questioning your Nixon-ness. <laughs> you see, I gave my word to a young lady I promised that without fail, I would be able to rescue her. We're in a and fail! 
And I'm going to kill every human being on Earth to make sure that happens. <coughs> if I'm not mistaken, the Great Witch Trial will begin in two weeks' time, the same day on which you will hold your next parade. Oh, well, that's convenient. I believe that should give us sufficient time to show you what we can do. Just take off your pants. What? Such a smug countenance. I find it intolerable. Oops. So I'm gonna eat it. Click, thank you. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I'm just gonna eat you now. Two weeks from now, you say? I'm afraid that information is out of date, Herschel Lincoln. <clears throat> so, you can see that right now I'm just going to... Out of date? What do you mean? I have no idea what you could possibly be doing with that pen. My parade will be held... The day after tomorrow, according to the amended story. You can't do that! Oh wait, you can. What? That's it! I'm getting the lead pipe! <laughs> the day after tomorrow? That's not fair! <laughs> I'm having a seizure! Help, Professor! Now that's the kind of countenance I want from the characters in my story! <laughs> what? That's what I do, didn't you know? I decide the fate of characters who have no knowledge of their future. I switched the voice, I think, but whatever. It would appear that you are not yet fully aware of the gravity of the situation. Let me see now. Just for fun, I'll write you a little story. A story full of surprises. And a few tears. I shall enjoy seeing the emotions of the characters as they play their parts. A story for us? I want there to be a pony! Stories are a fixture of this town. You'll be wise to embrace them. Let's see. I think we need a stimulating incident. We shall have a witch. Some witchcraft, Danny DeVito, and perhaps a little death. I don't like that last one. It's just Danny DeVito, but actually, that's way more important than anything here. Death? You can't. That's illegal. Unless it's Luke, in which case, right away. <laughs> There's no way you can write Luke's death into your story. Please, here's 50 bucks. Oh, but I can't. Let me see. It's a golden opportunity to use the Alchemist's residence. Now about this? Your comrade meets with death by golden curse in the Alchemist's residence. Hmm. This could be a truly interesting story. No way! That's like that! Feel free to act as you wish when playing your role in the story. How can you? I can't read this. The beginning of a new tragedy or farce. This is the book voice. The victim of a golden curse lies in the dwelling of a user of false alchemy. A man from afar falls to a golden curse, and a woman from afar cries out in grief. Ah. The woman is captured! Or just how the end? The fiery pits will cleanse all of her sins. <coughs> Did you rhyme that crap just for funsies? Yeah. A man from afar falls to a golden curse and a woman from afar cries out in grief? This must be referring to Maya and Mr. Wright! If we don't do something, Mr. Wright and Miss Faye will be in danger. 
Oh, frick, that's like another woman to save. Oh, gosh, we have to go, Luke. There's no time to lose, Luke. Let's go and find them. <laughs> right, you are, Professor. The story has already been written. Yeah, no matter what you do, do not change the result. I do not agree. Who on you, sir? Who? What we do next can change the future in any number of ways. Well, I'm sure that's what you want to believe. In fact, a naive outburst like that could be a poignant plot point. Please be my guest. Your words may help to raise the tension and bring a little excitement to my story. You, you monster! Luke, <laughs> don't say anything. Smell my hand. <laughs> Luke, now is not the time. We need to help Mr. Wright and Maya. Run! Okay, let's go, Professor. Better hurry. A friend's death. Added to the items. <laughs> exactly what we wanted to see. So that was no, not quite. We have to walk <laughs> back. Professor, do you hear a flapping sound coming from this way? Is it Muffet again? Sound of a large bird, perhaps? Or a helicopter? It's the oh, owl. No! He brought his Luke, perch you're with him. You're going to Hogwarts. <laughs> Ah, that's the owl we saw in the audience room. It's holding a letter in its mouth. Not to mention watching us intently. That was Leighton, by the way. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, don't punch me in the balls anymore. Perhaps we, he wants to tell us something. I'll try talking to him to see what he wants. Who? Who are you? Who? Who? What can we do for you? Back rubs. Okay, that's weird. I've got it, Professor. Oot, that's the owl. It says the letter was delivered to the storyteller three months ago. The storyteller? That's so, then we can't very well keep it. That's... What? After all, it's wrong to read letters addressed to someone else. That... Even, even if we're gonna save a person, we can't do that. That's what the owl said. <laughs> we also said there's absolutely nothing written on the sheets of parchment inside the envelope. This is a trap. Look, Professor, see? They're totally blank. I'm disobeying you right in front of your <laughs> face. Luke, I'm gonna put you in jail myself! Letter with nothing written on it. This is indeed most curious. And another thing, Professor. The jail's right, like, right behind us, I think, so it's <laughs> easy to do. The owl says this letter was sent by the alchemist. What's that, my boy? Written by the alchemist? Do you remember what the storyteller wrote in the story he penned a moment ago? I threw the letters away. No, a victim of a golden curse lies in the dwelling of a user of false alchemy. Which probably means the place at which this incident will occur. It's the alchemist's house. It is the home of the one who sent this letter. In other words, at the alchemist's house. Right, Professor? I was going to say that. I was. It appears the address of the sender, Sir Veldu, is written on the envelope. And since I know all of the streets in this town already, which means we had better make our way there immediately. Thanks, Mr. Hoot! Alright, we have that now. The address on the envelope is somewhere near the town square. That's a little far from here, Professor. We may not make it in time. I think we better run! Look, my boy, we have the need to rent a steed. <laughs> you! That was a Top Gun reference! <laughs> what? I think you're right, Professor. That should be far quicker than running. <laughs> Away! 
Quickly, Luke, there's no time to lose. I didn't put you on the same horse that, <laughs> as me for some incredibly stupid reason. It, it's funny, though, because Lane looks like he's on a mission, and Luke's like, Ah, how do I work <laughs> this thing? <coughs> hey, easy boy! This horse is certainly spirited! <coughs> oh no, it's going for the river! Wait! <laughs> Professor Whitehead! <laughs> <laughs> it's trying to kill me!